Hello everyone, good evening. Are you all able to hear me? I'll just ask uh, for a heads up if you're all able to hear me. Sorry for the, the, the late uh, starting of the webinar. We were switching from the, the grid to the genset. So just when we were about to start, that is when we were being load shedded here. So we had to quickly arrange for us to move to the genset so that at least we're able to have proper lighting even as we are starting the webinar. So thank you so much for each one that is joining us both live on Zoom through the webinar link and those of us, those of you that are joining us from Facebook. So I'll just wait for a quick confirmation from the technical team if everything is clear, both from Facebook and also from the live broadcast on Zoom. Is everything okay? Okay, so thank you so much. I'm told everyone is able to hear us both from Facebook and live. Thank you so much. My name is Mwala Moto. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Moto Holdings Limited. This is the information session for the investment preparation program. We have been extensively advertising this program and we've had an overwhelming registration with over 1,000 candidates so far registered to commence the program, which is starting on the 8th of January on Sunday. So this is an initiative by Motor Holdings Limited to find ways of supporting SMEs and fostering entrepreneurship in five countries across Africa. So this is the first uh, 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 session that we are going to do where we'll share information about this investment preparation program. So that for those of you that might not fully understand what the program is all about, you can now have a gist of what to expect during the course of the program. And if there are those that have not yet registered, we are going to do a brief extension up to close of business tomorrow so that you can also register. So, the investment preparation program, let's hold on. I want to see if uh, my, my screen is being seen. Okay, so the investment preparation program is aimed at supporting SMEs and it's being facilitated or sponsored by Motor Holdings Limited. So Motor Holdings is an investment and business advisory firm for SMEs operating in the Great Lakes region. So our specific target or our area of operation is Zambia, Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, and Rwanda. The firm runs an investment portfolio in agriculture, in fintech, consultancy, and uh, we provide business development services, which include business planning, business profiling, proposal writing, accounting services, financial reporting, and fundraising. So this is what Motor Holdings is all about. So you are able to access our services for as long as you are from any of the five targeted countries where we are currently operating from. The investment preparation program itself is an eight weeks mentorship program to provide 1,000 SMEs across five targeted countries with specialized business development support at no cost. So these five targeted countries include Zambia, Malawi, Rwanda, Kenya, and Tanzania. So as motor holdings, we are a full-fledged profit-making enterprise and we charge for all our services. However, we realize that there are a number of SMEs that could contribute extensively to uh, uh, national development of the respective countries where we are operating from. And at the same time also that we can benefit from, but they currently don't have the capacity to meet any of our consultancy fees. So that's the reason why we structured this mentorship program so that we can accord an opportunity to those SMEs that might still be at their infancy stage or might not be revenue generating to a point where they are even able to pay for these services that we are providing. So this mentorship program is specifically aimed at SMEs that are still at the early stages of their businesses or those that are not yet fully income generating. The reason is we would want them to also gain access to our specialized business development support. So the benefits of participating in this program, first thing is that each of the candidates are going to be provided with a business plan summary, which is going to 
provide full details about the kind of business that they are in, starting from their executive summary, we look at their uh, target market, their competitive advantage, we also analyze their, uh, uh, their, their corporate governance structure in terms of the management team, and also get to have a short analysis to review the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the business. We also get to look at the external environment through a pastel analysis, and then we will even proceed to analyze any possible risks that they are going to incur and provide mitigation and management strategies. Then from there, we are going to provide a, at least a three years financial focus for each of the SMEs. So this is a complete full business plan for each of the participating candidates that is going to be provided. Apart from that, we will also do business profiles or company profiles for each of the participating enterprises. These profiles are going to lay out information about these enterprises to explain where they are operating from, the products that they are, they are, they are providing on the market, uh, how to get in touch with them, and also uh, why they are the best people to engage for this particular product or services. So this profile will both include physical that you can print, and we will also encourage digital profiling through social media and websites. So each of the candidates will be encouraged to at least set up a digital uh, profile, social media, which can either be through Facebook, LinkedIn, or even Twitter. So for those that would want to even proceed and do websites, though websites are not covered in this uh, uh, package of the mentorship program, we also have uh, website uh, development and that will be done at a fee now, but uh, definitely each one is going to be supported on how best to profile their company on digital platforms. The next thing we are going to provide training on digital marketing. So we have seen that the world is going digital and for you to excel in business, you definitely need to find ways of leveraging digital platforms for you to reach out to your target market. Unfortunately, most of the SMEs are still lagging in these areas. We have people that are running businesses for some time, but yet they don't have any digital presence. There are no means in which their customers can get hold of them apart from visiting their physical uh, premises, of which to some extent it's limiting your growth and also your revenue generation capacities. So what we want is through the digital marketing training is to provide all the participating SMEs with capacity building on how best they can leverage digital marketing, digital platforms, to engage with their target market. So this digital platform can include social media, YouTube, uh, the web, and just coming up with digital tools that can be used to ease work and easily engage with your customers. So this will be done by our specialized team, which is involved in digital marketing and provides digital marketing consultancy. So it's going to be a very interesting module, which I would strongly encourage that all of you should pay attention. I must mention that the world has completely gone digital. At this point where we are right now, it is not advisable for any business to operate without having any digital traction. So this is a module that will really enable you to widen your scope in terms of the kind of market that you are able to reach out so that you are not just limited to your immediate physical market which you are operating, but rather you can also reach out to people that are far away, that are from far away marketing through, through far away markets, through, um, digital platforms. Then uh, we, the fourth one is we will also provide at least two years historical financial statements for all participating can, uh, enterprises that have been operating for some time. So what we have seen is one of the limiting factors for SMEs, especially in Africa, to access financing is their inability to provide financial statements. I must mention that it is very difficult for any funding or financial institution to extend an investment to an enterprise if they are not able to provide them with proper historical financial statements. So what we mean is historical financial statements like the income statement, which is able to show the performance of your business from one period to the other. And also your balance sheet, which is able to show the total assets of the business, the liabilities, the equity that has been invested in it so that an investor is able to analyze and understand the value of your business. Then you also need a statement of cash flow, which is able to uh, uh, explain the liquidity 
of the business at that particular time. So through this program, each of the participating candidates that have been operating for some time will be assisted to formulate historical financial statements, which will include an income statement, a balance sheet, and a statement of cash flow. This is very, very important for SMEs, especially those that are positioning themselves to receive funding, because no financial institution is going to invest with an, in an enterprise that is not able to provide financial statements. So for those that would actually want to proceed and have their financial statements audited, we will also assist them to connect them with auditors that we have worked with on a number of projects to express an audit opinion and audit their that we will also ask the candidates to gain access to at least three months to, 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 to access uh, for free a, 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 an accounting system for three months. So three months free access to an accounting system. So what we have also noticed is that most SMEs are failing to keep proper financial records. And that's the reason why they are not able to provide financial statements. Financial records are difficult to keep if you don't have a proper accounting system in place. In most cases, SMEs don't understand what an accounting system is, how to use it, because probably they might not have an accounting background. So what we want to do is to make use of the accounting background that we have and our experience in accounting and finance to orient all the participating candidates and SMEs on how to use an accounting system to effectively record all your transactions and monitor the performance of your business. So each of the participating enterprises will be given three months free access to an accounting system that has been developed by Motor Holdings and that's the one we are also using and it's being used by a number of other enterprises. So we are going to be extensively trained on how to use this accounting system, how to enter information on the system, how to be able to extract reports on this system, and even how you can have it integrated with other platforms such as your bank account, your mobile money account, to a point where you are even able to process online payments via mobile money or using your banking platforms. So this is also going to be a game changer for most of the participating SMEs because I must mention that having a proper accounting system in place when it comes to financial of your business is a plus that will enable you to keep proper financial records. Because at any given time, you will be able to extract a financial report that will illustrate the performance of your business. So the three months free access to an accounting system is going to be accompanied with extensive trainings and on how you can make use of this accounting system. Oftentimes, people avoid uh, 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 subscribing for accounting systems because maybe they don't have a, an accountant who is there to manage their business or who's there to provide uh, uh, financial accounting or financial reporting services. But through the trainings that we are going to provide as we orient you on how to use this system, you will not need to employ an accountant. As long as you are attentive and you follow through the lessons, you will be able to enter transactions on your own and even pull out financial statements. So this is very, very important. I must emphasize it again. For those of you that want to position yourself to grow your businesses, having an accounting system is something that is really going to leverage your, your, your growth and even enable you to gain access to various opportunities. So apart from the accounting system, we'll also provide you with access to funding. So like I've always consistently mentioned every time that I'm addressing you, our customers, to say um, there is a lot of funding opportunities that are available out there. And um, actually most of these funding opportunities unfortunately are not explored because people don't understand or don't even firstly know that these opportunities are there. And then they also don't know how to engage and uh, be able to, 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 to get these opportunities. So what we want to do as motor holdings is to provide all the participating by identifying funding opportunities for them and then proceeding to do applications for these funding opportunities. As Motor Holdings, we are affiliated with a number of, of uh, um, development financial institutions, uh, um, venture capital firms, uh, commercial banks, and different institutions that we have actually received funding from ourselves or that we have engaged to get funding for some of our clients. And every time when they have got opportunities that are available, they are going to notify us 
and we are able to, to submit applications and the like. So what we want to do is, as we receive notifications of these opportunities, each of the participating candidates in the investment preparation programs through the designated business development associate who's managing their enterprise will be able to submit an application to gain access to financing. So it means as a participating candidate, you will have access to continuous fundraising. It means you now, you are now letting go of the burden of being the one to look out for opportunities out there, but rather our team, which is experienced and understand these financiers is going to do it on your behalf. I must mention that the fundraising is going to be done on a commission basis. So participating in the investment preparation program itself is free and not charging anything. But because fundraising is on a continuous basis, we will need to meet the cost of operation. For example, paying the business development associates that are going to be doing fundraising for each of these enterprises and engaging with the participating candidates and also the financiers. So because of that, we are charging a 5% commission on all funds that are raised through the fundraising activities of Motor Holdings Limited. So if you looked at the, the terms of engagement that each of you that have already uh, subscribed to join the program, it is clear that 5% of all funds that are raised through the fundraising activities of Motor Holdings are going to be paid to Motor Holdings as commission for undertaking the fundraising activity. This commission is only paid after you have received the funding in your account. So within 30 days of receiving the funding, then you will process the payment to pay for the, 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 uh, the, the commission that is charged. Apart from that, the participating candidates are also going to be given an opportunity to enter the investment den. I'm going to shed more light about the investment den, but this is a TV show that is going to be sponsored by Motor Holdings, where various entrepreneurs or SMEs will be preaching, will be pitching different aspects of their businesses to a panel of judges to compete for an equity investment from Motor Holdings. We are already structuring an investment fund which we are inviting different financiers to invest in. And even ourselves, we have already invested in the fund and we'll be announcing the full uh, fund amount that will be available for participating SMEs to compete for in the investment den. I'll shed more light about the investment den as we proceed. So these are the benefits of participating in the investment preparation program. First thing, you have access to a full business plan. You have access to a business profile. You have access to digital marketing training and being set up on digital platforms. You have access to at least two years historical financial statements. You have three months free access to an accounting system and receive comprehensive training on how to enter data on the accounting system and even uh, 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 pull out financial reports from this accounting system. You also have access to funding through continuous fundraising by a competent team of business development professionals from motor holdings. And then you have the opportunity to enter the investment den and pitch your business to receive an equity investment from motor holdings. With these benefits, I'm convinced that the investment preparation program is indeed the kind of program that is needed to support SMEs at this stage where we are. I must mention that as motor holdings or as myself, Malamoto, as an entrepreneur, I have benefited a lot from accelerator services such as the investment preparation program. As a business person or as an entrepreneur, it's not everything that you might know or that you might understand. For example, I am an accountant by profession, so I understand financial accounting and reporting comprehensively, but I have very limited knowledge about marketing, about HR, about legal issues, but rather it is through accelerator programs such as the investment preparation program that I have participated in that has enabled me to build capacities and expertise in these other fields that I did not have an opportunity to go and learn in school. So right now I'm able to structure contracts for our clients or for our, uh, our employees because through the accelerator program that I've participated in, I was able to get such kind of information. So the reason I'm saying this is just to encourage you, if you have already registered that please, Put in your level best to meet all your tasks as we proceed through the program. Because after you have graduated from this program and completed all your tasks, the way that you will approach and run your business will never be the same because you will now have a professional touch on how your business is run. 
the timelines on how we are going to run this investment preparation program. So as it has already been communicated, the program will be launching on Monday, 8th of January, and we are going to have a series of trainings the whole day for everyone who is going to, who is going to participate. So the first module or the first assignment that is the business planning, which will run from the 8th of January to the 22nd of January. So this will include um, you as participating candidates completing your business plan templates. I must mention that your success in the investment preparation program is based on your, 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 your commitment to meeting the tasks that have been assigned to you. So each of you as participating candidates are going to be assigned tasks that you will have to meet. So for example, at the business planning stage, you're going to be given a link for you to complete your business plan template. It is through the information that you provide in the business plan template that your business development associate will now be able to formulate your business plan. So during the period from 8th to the 22nd of January, your business development associates will be engaging with each one of you to complete your business plan templates as they now work towards formulating your business plans. By the time that we are going to be closing on the 22nd of uh, of, of January, we expect that all the participating candidates would have completed their business plan templates and their business development associates would have formulated their business plans. All the participating candidates that would not have completed their business plan templates by the 22nd of January will be automatically disqualified from the program and we will only proceed with those that have completed the previous module due to the next stage of business profiling. So this stage will be starting on the 23rd of January and during this stage again you are going to be sent a business profile template which you will use to complete the details and your business development associate will use your business profile template to now be able to formulate your company profile or your business profile. So again, I'll still repeat that you are encouraged to make sure that you are able to meet your deadline on completing your business profile template. Most of these templates are online, so you just be sent a link and then you will proceed and enter your details link and submit and your business uh, development associates for motor holdings is now going to formulate your business profile or your company or your business plan so what is important from your side is to complete that business plan template or that business profile template if you want to do that there is no way that your business development associate will be able to now uh, 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 complete your 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 business profile or your business plan so this is very, very important for you that you are able to meet those deadlines. So again, if you will not be able to meet your business, to complete your business profile template by 29th January, you'll be disqualified from the program. And only those that have completed their business profile template will proceed to the next stage, which is digital marketing, which will start from the 30th of January to the 5th of February. So during this time, again, we'll have a series of trainings on digital marketing from experts on digital marketing that are going to illustrate on how best you can make use of digital platforms to leverage on your sales. At the same time, also, you will all be required to set your businesses up on digital platforms. So this will include opening a Facebook page, for example, opening a LinkedIn page, opening a YouTube channel. So that even as you are getting trainings on how to come up with posters and content to post on your respective platforms, you are able to put this in practice by actually posting them on each of your respective platforms. So again, those that will not be able to compete the, the 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 setting up on digital platforms will be disqualified from this because after you have set up your page for example or your youtube channel you'll be required to send a link and submit online so that your business development associate is able to review how your your facebook page has been done your youtube channel has been structured for those that will actually want a website during this time also, the, 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 the digital marketing team will also be able to formulate websites for you. So it's important that you are also able to stick to the line of making sure that you set out your business on digital platforms by the 5th of February. Then the next part is the financial accounting and reporting, which will start from the 60th of February to the 19th of February. So during this time, 
there is going to be a lot of training. So this is the center that each of you are going to set up the accounting system. You are going to be trained on how to enter transactions on the accounting system, how to pull out reports on the accounting system. And for those that have been operating for at least two years, we will assist you with migrating your data from wherever you have been storing it, or if you are not storing it anywhere, you now begin to enter all your financial transactions to the accounting system so that we assist you with formulating at least two years historical financial statements for your business. So during this time, again, you are expected to stick to your deadline by making sure that you are attending the accounting system trainings. When you'll be sent the link to sign up on the accounting system, you sign up by the expected deadline. When you'll be given instructions on how to set up your accounts on the accounting system, you do that on the expected deadline. And then also when you'll be given the opportunity to now begin migrating your financial information from your, 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 your receipt books or the books where you have been writing to the accounting platform, you also do that according to the expected deadlines. All those, again, who will not be able to complete tasks at this stage are going to be disqualified from the program the accounting system set up and training and even historical financial statement formulation will proceed to the next stage. The next stage is the investment pitching, training, and recording. So this will run from the 20th of February to the 26th of February. So like I have mentioned, at Motor Holdings, we will proceed to do fundraising for each of your respective businesses. However, even as we are doing fundraising, financiers would want to see a video where you are pitching about your business. So during this part of the program, each of the participating candidates are going to be trained on how to submit a successful pitch to a panel of investors or to financiers. So you'll be oriented on how to structure your pitch deck and how to present it. And then at the end of the, 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 the module, each of you will be required to record a pitch which you are going to upload on the YouTube channel, which you would have designed or which you would have uh, uh, opened. So the reason of doing this is because as motor holdings will now be doing fundraising for your enterprise, there is a part when we are submitting uh, 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 financing applications where we need to put the pitch desk. And that pitch desk will include a pitch deck, which is in PowerPoint, and also a record of the pitch by the entrepreneur themselves. So that is why we need you to participate in this module of investment pitching training and recording and have you recording a pitching that will be uploaded on your YouTube channel because this is what Motor Holdings is going to use to now uh, uh, submit your applications for funding. At the same time, at this stage, you will also be trained on how you will be able to pitch if your enterprise will be selected to get into the investment there. The, if uh, once we are done with this stage, the next part is on from the 27th of February to the 5th of March. This is now the investment den application. So after you have completed all the above five modules, the business planning, the business profiling, the digital marketing, financial accounting and reporting, and the investment pitching training and recording, we need to open up for applications for SMEs that are going to enter the investment den. Unfortunately, or I don't know why I would say fortunately or unfortunately, we are only going to select 25 SMEs or enterprises to enter the investment den. I'll share more information about the investment den, but the 25 enterprises should have completed all the five modules of the investment preparation program. So if you would want to receive an investment at the end of this program by virtue of you entering the investment den and pitching your business, you will need to be consistent with completing all your tasks during the program period so that you will now successfully qualify and apply to enter the investment debt. So during this time, the portal is going to open up for applications and the successful IPP candidates will now make their applications for the investment den and the, 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 the team, the business development team is going to do the review and selections of the enterprises that will proceed to the investment den. Then beginning from the 5th of March, raising for all IPP candidates is going to begin. So this 
are the timelines for the investment preparation program. I hope all of you are taking note of this. And if you have any questions, you take note. We are going to go through the questions and answer after the end of everything. And we will also open up for even maybe um, uh, those that would want to ask direct questions. So this is what we've been doing this period. Let's mention, however, that um, though the fundraising is going to begin on the, uh, um, on the 5th of March, certain opportunities that are already open, whose deadline is going to be <clears throat> before the 5th of March. So the way we have done it as motor holdings is that we will proceed to do applications for all the IPP candidates that are already registered to even proceed to make applications for them for these opportunities that will be due before the 5th of March. Amongst them is the current call for proposals by the Citizens Economic Empowerment Commission and also the Tony Elumelu Foundation. So we have experience when it comes to the two funding opportunities because we are recipients of funding from the two institutions. And um, our team is quite vested on how to structure successful applications for such kind of opportunities. So if you are interested in, um, the applic in applying for either the CEEC funding or the Tony Elumelu funding, uh, next week, we're going to send out links to all of you registered IPP candidates that are interested in these opportunities to express, to, to register, and then your respective business development associates will engage you to even begin working on your applications for these two opportunities only for now. The rest of the other funding opportunities will only proceed to do applications after the 5th of March. So that is about the IPP timelines. The fundraising will be done, uh, motor holdings will identify funding opportunities and proceed to apply for all program participants at a 5% commission. I think this has already been mentioned and I have explained much more of it. So the investment then, I now want to give a detailed explanation of what investment then is all about. So this is an eight week TV show where 25 shortlisted IPP candidates will pitch various aspects of their businesses to compete for an equity investment from Motor Holdings Limited. The program will be broadcast live on local TV channels. So we are currently in discussion with prominent TV channels that I'm not going to mention for now on how we are going to have this program aired out. So from all the IPP candidates that will have applied and gone through the program and completed successfully, we are going to shortlist 25 that will enter the investment den to pitch the various aspects of their businesses. So this program is going to be done on TV. So it means the candidates that will be shortlisted should be prepared to go and pitch and defend various aspects of their businesses on set to a panel of business development experts from motor holdings and those that we are going to bring from outside. So this is a good opportunity for you even though you might not get the investment at the end of the program, but at least it will give you the visibility that you will need because your business is going to be profiled and you are going to broadcast live on TV channels where you are going to pitch various aspects of your business and at least other financiers or partners are going to know about your business. I'm going to give a personal testimony about this because I have seen how our participation as motor holdings in the Quasar business competition that was done by Zanaco has given us several other opportunities. And we are still even getting more access to opportunities even after the program has already aired out and we won the competition because of the visibility that we were able to get during that period. So this is what we also want to provide to the 25 shortlisted IPP candidates that will enter the investment den to give them the required visibility through broadcasts on prominent TV channels we are also going to profile their businesses and come up with hero films or documentaries about how they started their business and the kind of support that they need. And all these are going to be put on different TV channels and also on our digital platforms at Motor Holdings and those of our partners. So successful uh, 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 shortlisting into this program is through you completing all your IPP tasks. I must mention this. So only IPP candidates will qualify to enter the investment debt. 
So regardless of how interesting your business is, how profitable it is, if you have not successfully gone through the investment preparation program, you will not be able to enter the investment debt. So that's why it's very important for you to stick to your deadlines and make sure that you are successfully completing all your tasks because your application to enter the investment debt is going to be assessed through you uh, 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 having completed this task. The advantage of getting into the investment den, of course, is that firstly, you will have access to um, um, an equity investment from motor holdings. What we mean by equity investment, for those of you that don't know, is that motor holdings is going to proceed to buy shares in your business. So as motor holdings, like I have said, we are a profit making enterprise. So if we will proceed to make an investment in your enterprise, it should be on an equity basis where we come on board as equity investors and we assist you with properly running and growing your business for the purpose of us receiving dividends once your business is successful. So that is the number one benefit of you receiving an equity investment. Number two is that you will also have continuous business development support from motor holdings and you will have the backing of motor holdings on engaging financiers and other partners because motor holdings will now be listed as an equity investor in your enterprise and we are also able to provide surety to other partners that might want to come on board to invest or engage with your enterprise. At the same time also, because you will now be part of our investment portfolio, we will also give you access to our various partners for you to be able to leverage that partnership network to also gain access to other business opportunities such as funding, access to markets, capacity building, or professional support that you might need. The third benefit also is the visibility, which I've already mentioned to say, if you will get enter the investment, then your pitch and your business is going to be profiled and broadcasted on prominent TV channels and also shared across different digital platforms so that more people are able to hear and to know about your business. So these are the benefits that will come with you entering the investment then. So the investment then, like I've said, is going to be a, a, a TV show of eight episodes that will run over a period of eight weeks. So the first episode will be the business summary pitch where the successful uh, uh, businesses that will enter the den uh, by a brief business summary pitch to detail what their business is involved in, their target market, how they intend to explore that target market and why they think they are the best SMEs or enterprise to win that investment in this program. After that, we'll go to the next episode, which is the market analysis pitch. I must mention that at every episode, we are going to be dropping some. So for example, all the 25 will come in and pitch in the business summary pitch, but only those that will succeed will proceed to the next episode of the market analysis pitch. So under the market analysis pitch, you are now going to do a pitching of your full market analysis, giving details of um, uh, your target market, how you intend to explore this target market, who are your competitors in this market, what is your competitive advantage over these competitors, and uh, uh, how will you be able to, to penetrate this market. After this, you proceed to the social impact pitch, where you now get to talk about how will your business contribute towards resolving critical social challenges in your target market or across the globe. The fourth part or the fourth episode will be the corporate governance pitch where uh, uh, SMEs or candidates will now pitch about corporate governance in their business, their management structure, the policy put in place to ensure that their businesses are properly managed, their board structure, and how best they are going to guarantee motor holdings that they have the prerequisites for them to effectively manage the investment that will be given to them. And also they have got proper controls in place to ensure that the business is going to succeed. The fifth part is the, the or the fifth episode will be the financial performance speech. This is where the enterprises now come to explain the overall financial performance of their businesses, how they intend to grow it over the period of time, and the expected profit margins and the benefits that are going to flow to the potential investors that we decide to invest in the business. The sixth episode will be the risk analysis and management pitch, where businesses are going to highlight 
there are risks which have identified in their business and how they will best manage and mitigate against those risks. The seventh is the investment budget pitch, where each of the candidates are now going to pitch about uh, which of the, 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 the or about how they are going to use the investment money that will be pumped into their business to grow their business and even be able to generate revenue for the investors. So that's what we've done in the seventh episode. The final episode will be the winner announcement. This is where the winners of the program are going to be announced. At this point, we don't know how many of from the 25 are going to receive funding because we are still structuring the investment fund. So we have we not yet announced how much money has been mobilized for the investment fund. But once we have finalized all our engagements with the investors that are going to put in money in the investment fund, we'll be able to now announce the total amount of money that will be available in the investment fund and also the number of SMEs that are going to get funding from this investment fund. So on the eighth episode, we'll be announcing the winners that will be getting the investment. And at the same time, it will also be the IPP graduation. We have also combined this with the Akaso General Assembly because the winner's announcement is going to take place at Murungushi at the Kenneth Kaunda Auditorium. We will be inviting all the participating IPP candidates. We'll also be extending an invitation to the Akaso members. So the Kenneth Kaunda Auditorium, 2,500 capacity should be filled up to announce the winners of the investment then and we'll be inviting government officials to officiate at the program and present the checks to those that are going to be announced. So that's why I was saying that it is a good opportunity for you to enhance the visibility of your business by participating in this program because during the grand finale of announcing at the Kenneth Kaunda Auditorium at Mulungushi, over 2,500 people are expected to fill up that auditorium. And we're also expecting that the official announcement should be live on various social media platforms and TV channels. So this is about the investment deal and the investment preparation program. So I hope most of the information that was still not very clear, at least is now clear to all of you, and you now have a proper understanding of what the investment preparation program is, how you will benefit from this program, and also how you will proceed to the investment if you will succeed. So let me just go through the questions and get to understand the question. Okay, I can see that. The others were saying uh, they were not able to say anything. Maybe this was before we began. Okay, so this was before we began. So I'm saying, is this session that, okay, just hold on, let me just put. So if you have any questions, please, I would ask that you can quickly uh, type your questions in the question and answer section because I'll be quickly addressing all the questions. I can see that we are almost over time. This webinar was supposed to is supposed to just go for an hour and we are almost over an hour. So I'll quickly peruse through the questions, especially those that might not have been addressed during the program. So um, somebody saying, I would like to record the lecture on my Android. How do I go about? So. This program is being re recorded, and at the end of the program, at the end of the, the the session tomorrow, a live recording is going to be sent out to all registered IPP candidates, those that have attended, and even those that didn't attend. So you don't have to worry about that. You will all be sent the recording, including even the copy of this pitch of this uh, uh, presentation that was being made. Good evening, Mr. Moto. I'm a startup business with no historical financial statements. Would this be a challenge when it comes to obtaining funds or attracting investors? So um, I must mention that it's easier to fundraise for a business that has already been operating and has historical financial statements, but that does not rule, completely rule out those that don't have historical financial statements. So that's the reason why we are also setting all of you up on the accounting system so that going forward, you will all be able to keep proper financial records by entering your transactions on the financial statements. So to answer your question, no, it is not going to be a 
a, 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 a disadvantage for you because there are already a lot of other funding opportunities that don't require you to have been existed before or have been generating revenue previously. One good of such an example is Tony Elumelu uh, uh, funding opportunity and even the CEC funding opportunity itself. It's not mandatory that you need to have had historical financial statements. Then good evening, Mr. Moto, will the training be online? Yes, the trainings are going to be online. I must mention that the IPP program is full online. We were hoping that at least the launch on Sunday, we, are, we can invite a few of you to come in for the physical launch here at our main office. Unfortunately, most of the construction that we were doing has not been concluded. So the place is still not very happy to invite over 50 people as we had initially planned. So because of that, everything is going to be done online on Zoom. So you're encouraged to a good computer or a good phone and have access to internet during this load shedding, please always make sure that you are charging your phones. The good part also is don't worry so much all the sessions that we are going to have are going to be recorded and a recording is going to be shared with all registered candidates. So those of you that may be at work, that may be at work or might be offline during those times, you'll still be able to view the recording and participate and submit your assignments. What's important is that make sure that you submit all your assignments before the deadline. Then, so if a business is funded either through a grant or a loan, then you also ask for 10% or 5%. How does one account for the amount you take? So it's not 10% or 5%, it's clearly 5%. And that is what is stated even in your terms of engagement. How does one account for this fund? First thing is that these funds can either be put in as consultancy fees in the application that you're doing. So for example, if you will be applying for a grant from any institution, the, the funding institutions understand that as an enterprise, you might not have the professional competence to be able to structure the application yourself. So you might have engaged a professional to do this on your behalf. And most of the funders will allow you to put in a budget to pay that have assisted you with the structure in the project that you have used to apply for that funding. I'm saying most of them because there are rare situations where some financiers will say they don't want any budget allocated towards paying consultants that are going to do the fundraising on behalf of the enterprises. So where such a situation arises means the enterprise itself will now have to find money from external sources to now meet the cost of fundraising from the motor holdings point. Like I have said that Motor Holdings is a private profit-making business, which has cost of operations. The workers that will be attending to you, the business development associates, the, 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 the IT infrastructure that will be used to manage the program, all these are coming in at a cost at Motor Holdings. Of course, for now that we are doing the investment preparation program, we have a budget line to support that under our corporate social responsibility. But however, for continuous fundraising going uh, forward. We cannot continue to continuously fundraise for over the, for the 1,000 enterprises under this program entirely at no cost because we will run at the risk of failing to meet the cost of operation or of paying the business development associates that are going to be attending to you. So that's the reason why the 5% commission has been put in so that at least it's slotted in your budget as you are applying that you are able to contribute towards the cost of continuous fundraising for you and providing you business development support by motor holdings. I hope that answers your question. Does IPP cover SMEs which are still in the process of registration and how does one register? IPP is for those whose businesses are already registered. However, I know that there are some of you who have not yet registered your businesses, but we proceeded to admit you because we saw that you have already begun your businesses according to what the information that you gave us. So I'm hoping that was truthful. So according to the information you gave us, you indicated that you have already started running your business. And because of that, we admitted you into the program. But what you are expected is that at least before the program ends, you need to make sure that you register your business. The reason is because these fundraising opportunities that will assist you to access are only, is only for registered businesses. 
So for example, right now, next week, we'll begin engaging all of you, if you are interested in CEEC funding or in Tony Olumelu funding for us to do applications for you. If your business is not registered, unfortunately, even if you say you are interested and you are registered in the APP, Motor Holdings will not be able to do the application for you because you don't have a business registration certificate, which is a prerequisite for all these financiers. So that is the reason why it is a must that at least as soon as, if you can do it even tomorrow, please have your business registered. That is when the benefits of the IPP program are going to be felt because now you will be able to participate in the fundraising activities and you'll be able to receive funding. Even the investment then, no enterprise will be admitted into the investment then without having registered their enterprise. So that's why it's important for you to register. The next question is, I would like to propose that trainings be done from 1930, thanks. Okay, that's something that we can consider and uh, we'll communicate. So it depends on the, 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 the availability of everyone. So the trainings, what we have done is we have deliberately set them up on weekends. Unfortunately, the motor holdings does not work on Saturday and we only work on Sundays. So most of the trainings are going to be done on Sundays. And what we will do is we know that most of people that worship on Sunday will go to church in the morning. So the trainings will be done on the afternoons of Sunday. So that is still something that we will discuss and look at. But you see, most of these trainings are going to take long because to be honest, the training on financial accounting and reporting cannot be done within an hour. Probably it might even go for two or three hours. So those are long, comprehensive technical trainings that will need a lot of time. So if we are starting at uh, uh, 7.30 p.m., that's 19.30 p.m., and for three hours, it means we are ending at 22 hours, which is going to be quite absurd for some people. So that is the reason why we prefer in the afternoon. So that at least if we start at 14, at least by 17 or 16, we would be done and people can proceed to attend to other things. Then for business plan, are we also going to learn about basic information on how to prepare a successful business plan or you will just help us to prepare the business plan? Yes, you are going to be trained comprehensively on how to formulate a successful business plan. So this is actually the first session that will be done as we do the official launch on, um, uh, uh, on Sunday. So this is very, very important for you and it's going to be, you're going to be trained. So like I said, even the business plan itself, the business development associates are going to use the information that you will submit through the business plan template. So that's the reason why you will have a training on how to complete the business plan template and how to formulate a business plan. So as you now go and begin completing your templates, then you do it in accordance with how best it's supposed to be done. Clarification, the question on how SMEs the question on how SMEs still undergoing PACRA registration are going to benefit is followed by a question on how to register with motor holdings. In short, what are the initial requirements? I think this was already communicated. So I'm thinking that every person who's in this meeting is actually registered for the IPP. So please, if you are not yet registered, we are doing the final registration, which will be closing at 17 hours tomorrow. So if you're not registered for the IPP, go on www.motorholdings.com and then go where it's written IPP. You click there and then you select your country and complete the IPP registration form. If you can't do that, please go on our Facebook page, either on the Moto Holdings page or my personal page as Mwala Moto, and call the number that is there. Our business development team and customer service are going to assist you on how best to complete that. Sorry, how much is registration fee? I missed the first part. Registration in the IPP program is free. So you don't have to pay anything to register for the IPP. I should categorically state this. No one is supposed to charge you anything for participating in this program. It is entirely free of charge. The only thing that you need to do is to follow that link, submit your information, you're shortlisted, you begin participating in the program. So there is no fee at all. There will never be a time motor holdings will ask you to pay anything for participating in this program. The only time that you will pay is the commission. After you have secured the funding, it has even reached your account and you can see it. That is when you will pay the 5% commission to motor holdings for participating in the program. Then um, saying, kindly help me with the registration. So please, I've already talked about that. What time would the investment then presentation be the investment then we're going to communicate 
comprehensively on the investment den programming once we finalize our discussions with the recording crew and the TV stations where it's going to be broadcast. So much information about the investment den will be shared in due course, especially to those that will proceed to enter the den. Will this presentation be shared? Yes, it's going to be shared. Hello, do you consider startups that are not yet making money? Yes, we do, and we can register for the IPP. How is the daily timetable going to be to enable us plan? We are going to share out the timetable as we are going to launch the program on Sunday. Good evening, Mr. Moto. Kindly advise on the businesses with business profiles already. So all those with business profiles already, that will be your basis of completing the business profile template. So still Motor Holding will formulate for you a business profile, but if you already have a business profile, you use that to now complete the business profile template. On IPP timeline, can you please provide us with the exact time? Okay, we're going to share that. Thanks so much for the information. I have really found this very cardinal to me as an SME, thank you so much. What is the typical investment sizes and what, and are all investments equity? So the equity investment is the one that will be provided by motor holdings through the investment den. This should be very, very clear. The investment that is coming in from the investment den is being done directly by motor holdings itself. But as I have said, only 25 successful IPP candidates will enter the investment den. So it means the rest of the other IPP candidates, we will do fundraising for them, of course, but we'll do it with other external financial institutions. And these can either be providing concessional loans, some of them it's grants, some of them it's equity. So depending on your most preferable kind of investment, because as you complete the IPP program, we'll ask you to specify what kind of investment are you open to. And depending on what you will click, those are the kind of funding that your business development associate will be seeking for you. How many participants are likely to emerge as winners? So like I said, we are not yet sure because we have not yet fully finalized on the setup of the investment fund. So depending on um, how much we are going to mobilize and announce as the available investment fund, we will be able to determine how many winners are going to emerge from the investment debt. Do I need to have a laptop to carry out these assignments? Of course you need a laptop, but if you have a phone, which can do it well, if you have an iPad, a tablet, whatever, as long as you have access to the internet and you're able to complete something, you can do it. So what we have done is to try by all means to simplify the process because we know that it's not every person who has a laptop. So as long as you have a smartphone, most of the tasks will be completed through a web link. So these are links that will be sent out to you. And then quickly, you just click on the link and you complete that. So that can even be done on your phone. So you don't have to worry on whether you need to get a laptop now or not. But if you have one, it's even an added advantage. If not selected among the 25, does it mean I will not receive any funding at all? If not selected among the 25 that will enter the investment den, yes, you will not receive funding from motor holdings. However, motor holdings will proceed to engage other financiers on your behalf so that you can also receive funding. So I want to be repeated again that the investment den is financing coming from motor holdings and we are only limiting it to the 25 that will enter the investment den. However, all IPP candidates, we are going to do fundraising for them. Can a non-operational registered business participate? Yes. How much does one have to pay after three months of using the accounting system? You are going to be shared with the link on the accounting system, which is going to outline the different packages because the fees will vary depending on what you want to do on the system. So you'll be able to see this as we actually get into the program. Is the opportunity limited to registered candidates only or SME teams members are also can also attend. So the opportunity to participate in the investment preparation program is only for registered IPP candidates. So even the links are not going to be provided to everyone. And uh, uh, the, the, the presentation might be broadcast live on Facebook for other people to learn from this presentation. But those that will participate through the Zoom link, it is only the registered IPP candidate. So you are actually encouraged not to share this link once you receive it. 
how can we get the recording so that we can share with our friends who have not registered? Yes, it will be sent out tomorrow. Good evening. Is the program only for those that are already running registered? No, even for those who are not. How much is the accounting system? It will be announced after the program has begun. How do some how do someone know that they have successfully registered? You are going to receive a confirmation email and our team will get in touch with you. What time will the IPP starting and ending about how many hours per day? So we are going to share much more with that as we are going to do the official launch in the afternoon on Sunday. So the official launch will be done in the afternoon and we're going to share the links just after this meeting or tomorrow. So uh, we still have so many others. So what I would advise is unfortunately we have already gone overboard our time and we cannot continue. So what I would advise is if I've not read your question and answered it, please just call us tomorrow morning. We have a dedicated customer service team that is there to attend to your calls and answer your questions. If there's anything that is not clear from this webinar, please just call us tomorrow from seven hours up to 17 hours. Our lines are on and you are able to call us and engage with us. You can also text us on WhatsApp or on Messenger. But what I would advise is if you need a quick and prompt response, just pick up that phone and call us and the response will be provided. Thank you so much for those of you that have made it to this webinar, those of you that are joining us via Zoom, and those of you that are also joining us via Facebook. We really appreciate your interest, your interest in the investment preparation program, and we hope to see all of you participating in this program. This is a great opportunity for you, and we definitely know that it is something that is going to yield a lot of benefits for most of you. Like I have mentioned and always mentioned to say, as Moto Holdings or as Mwala Moto myself, I have gained access to a lot of opportunities through professional business development support. So this is an opportunity for you to gain access to the opportunities that have built as to what we have become today also. So thank you so much, and we hope to see you as we will be doing the official launch on Sunday and engage more with you. For any questions, please call us tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a good night and we hope to engage more with you.